Hi everyone, welcome to Wine Witter. Uh, this episode I thought it'd be fun to do an unboxing. Ah, said box. Uh, it arrived today, there's been a plenty of time for uh, consumption through absorption of my wine rack um, and it was definitely time to buy some more. Uh, so what I thought I'd do uh, for some of these videos on the series is unboxings of wines that I regularly get, other ones that uh, are things I haven't bought before. Um, I thought it might be able to you know, provide some ideas for people who are interested in wine and want to buy some. Maybe some of these will influence your choices. And also the ones that I haven't got before will be a good opportunity to talk about on camera uh, uh, why I've bought them. So that's what we're going to do. I have been watching a lot of Mr. James Suckling recently. Um, I mean, I've followed him for years, but uh, he does these videos. Uh, the one the one I'm hooked on at the moment is he does this series, um, the James Suckling Challenge, uh, where he goes to wine wholesalers in America. It's, it's the only country I can suffice that he's doing it in at the moment is his home country um, especially in California and giving them a challenge of give me 90 plus rated wines uh, five of them normally um, you know and to, to see if, if James Suckling will agree or not so he goes and he goes yes yes that's 90 or yeah I'll give you 91 on that I'm 91 or then sometimes he goes yeah I'm 92 on that one because it's just delicious so for him and, and for a lot of uh, wine experts, 90 represents a mark of outstanding level. So, uh, you know, a remarkable wine. Anything that's kind of 94, 95 upwards is, is like classic, classic vintage and gets, you know, the big gold stamp. Um, but 90 is a, is a mark of excellence. And then sort of 86... To, to 89 is kind of very, very good. Um, anything below 86 is kind of drinkable, you know, quaffable, good stuff. And then anything that's in the 70s is considered extremely average and anything below that. So that's how the 100 point system works. So the idea is, you know, James Suckling goes into these places and he gets oh yeah that's a 90 that's 91 and they either succeed in the challenge these wholesalers or, or they or they don't anyway i've been watching that and in one of the challenges uh places wholesalers he went to they got this one so i thought it would be fun to unbox it together you'll note i've de-taped it because i didn't want to do that bit on video but it is dun, 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 dun. it is some bordeaux some claret because I've got some, um, but I haven't got any Eau Medoc. And here we are. So this is what I've got. This is uh, Chateau Beaumont, uh, which is in the Eau Medoc region on the left side of the River Gironde. So Eau Medoc is just beneath Medoc. And to the southern tip of Omedoc is the actual city of Bordeaux, sort of. And then on the east side of the river, you've got things like Saint-Emilion, Pomerol, Lalande de Pomerol. Uh, thinking Castillon, etc, etc. So, I mean, let's just get them all up. I got a case of six. So... Mr. Suckling gave this a rating of 90 on the dot. He said, yes, this is a wine of excellence, you know. Um, and the point of this particular challenge that he did was uh, he went to the wholesaler and he said, they've got to be under, under 30 bucks or under $30. So I thought, ooh, that's, you know, if you go and get some excellent uh, Bordeaux that's both going to last and is drinkable now, uh, and you want something really, really good, then, you know, if it's affordable, yay, I'm all in. So that's why I bought the 15. He was, the video I watched was him tasting uh, nine years ago, the 2000 and 
nine. So he was drinking that in 2011. Uh, and then in America, obviously, they were selling it for, I think it was about $24, $25. Um, so I thought, oh, okay. I looked up basically when to drink the 09 by, and it was kind of like now. And I wanted something to drink now, but also keep and let it mature and drink it in, you know, seven or eight years. So the 09 was out of the question. Hence, I looked up other um, vintages of the Chateau Beaumont and the 15 got excellent reviews again. Uh, so did the 14. 13, 12, 11, 10 were kind of, yeah, it's all right, it's really good. But uh, this particular vintage did very well. So... Uh, when I say James Suckling gave it 90, he gave the 09 90. But, you know, always check before you buy. I had a look at reviews of this wine and he gave this one a 90. Who else gave it 90? Um, people like uh, Jeannie Cho Lee gave it 90, who is a the first master of wine, I think, in South Korea. And so she's a... Uh, a wine expert, and she, she very much liked it. Other people who liked it, I'm going to have a look at my computer here, were uh, Antonio Gall Galloni, who is an Italian wine expert and sort of set up his own kind of um, website in 2013. Uh, and also Wine Enthusiast, uh, a popular subscription uh, for many people, gave it 92. So um, it's very popular, clearly. Uh, and then there were some other reviewers who gave it 89 so you know some of them weren't blown away but thought it was very good uh so i got this for 20 pounds a bottle and that was the sort of best price i could get it for in the uk i got it from let me show you the box they're called Frasiers, and i think they're based in the midlands um so I bought, I bought it a few days ago. But anyway, yes, this is the Chateau Beaumont 2015 from Omedoc. Very good ratings from a lot of judges. And it should be drinkable up until about, I think, 2026 or something like that. Yeah, um, from what I read. So there we go. A fun unboxing for me. I will come back, as I will do on many topics, about the situation... That is Bordeaux wines because my God, it's confusing. Um, but there's an awful lot of delicious wine. So this, uh, the main grapes in Bordeaux are Cab Sav and Merlot. Sorry, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. Cabernet Sauvignon itself is a relatively new grape. It's only a few hundred years old because it is a not a mutant, a merge of two grapes. It is. Um, a Sauvignon grape mixed with, uh, mutated with um, Cabernet Franc. They did that. And the skins on Cabernet Sauvignon grapes are very thick. So they tend to be harvested quite a lot later in the year. And also in the sort of gravel-based trench style vineyards of Bordeaux, there's an awful lot of sun for a long time and Cab Sav does very well there. So this is 50% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, 47% Merlot, and a little bit of Petit Verdot, 3%. Um, so when we say a Bordeaux blend, that is normally the main two components of what the world knows as a Bordeaux blend is Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. And then they have things like Petit Verdot sometimes, which they'll add into a blend. So blended wine, here are the bottle schnips, and then I'll see you on the next one. Uh, I don't know what schnips are. Located in the heart of prestigious vineyards, Chateau Beaumont is a great Médoc wine. Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, grapes grown on our superb gravel terroir, produce full-bodied, elegant and fruity wines. The Chateau is totally committed to quality and respect for the environment. So nothing about tasting notes there. Um, I can remember though reading it um, sort of uh, intense um, fruit, uh, ripe fruits, but also a sort of tobacco-y, inky kind of uh, aroma and um, long longevity in the palate so it sounds very nice it sounds good so I will drink one and I think I, I, yeah I'll do that with you guys I'll taste it with you guys and then I'll do a family reaction whoa uh, and then I'll leave the others so I bought a case of six so they're gonna sit nicely on my shelf so there we are that's an unboxing uh, Chateau Beaumont 2015 Omedoc 
great reviews. See ya.